A complex network of waterways, mudflats and islands makes the Sundarbans unique. One of the world's largest mangrove forests forms a natural wall, protecting both Bangladesh and neighbouring India, as well as nearly four million people that live near the coast. But the effects of climate change and industrialisation are becoming increasingly visible. Like millions of fishermen and women, Salim Hawlida relies on the Sundarbans for his livelihood, but fears that could end soon. Much of Bangladesh is less than five metres above sea level, and global warming is causing sea levels to rise further. The mangroves face various threats such as pollution and changing levels of salinity. Cyclones and the building of a new power plant are additional dangers. <laughs> We're dependent on the Sundarbans, so we'll be the ones most impacted by the harmful effects of a coal-fired power plant. They'll stop us from entering the mangroves to catch fish or collect honey. Fatima Begum also relies on fish in the mangroves to feed her family. How will the Sundarbans people live if the fish are gone? We're already struggling to survive. There are fewer fish now than last year. Rampal Power Plant is a joint venture between India and Bangladesh. The Bangladeshi government says the $1.5 billion project poses no threat to the Sundarbans. Environmentalists disagree. We should be looking for alternative sources of energy rather than this coal-based industry. We are not saying that we stop it here today. We have to really explore other options. For some villagers, a power station nearby could transform their lives. Rupa Begum's life is a daily struggle, but says it could be easier if her home had electricity. The first problem is my children can't study in the dark. The second is the hassle of cooking on firewood, especially during the unbearable hot summer. We need electricity. UNESCO says the Sundarbans, home to endangered tigers and hundreds of other animals and rare plants, is of universal importance. With its own unique ecosystem, scientists and many others say it's vital that it isn't destroyed. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.